Hello and uh, welcome back to prediction and misclassification errors. In this video, we are going to take a look at how to carry out predictions once we have developed a decision tree model. And then we do calculations for misclassification error based on training data and also misclassification error based on test data. We had earlier done uh, illustration where we developed a tree model where dependent variable was quantitative but let me go back to species and run this line again so that I have this model and it is going to look like this. We can use this model for prediction. So for prediction we use predict command. We can say the model is tree model and let's do prediction for the entire training data set which we are calling as train so as soon as you run that line you can see for all the data in training data so we have 116 117 118 so 118 observations all of them now have a predicted species so for example all these belong to the first species and then we have second species followed by third species but if you want to get the probability values, we can add that information here by saying type equals PROB for probability. So instead of the classification, you'll get the actual probabilities that are used for prediction as well. So what it does is for all 118 observations in the training data, it gives us three values here. So first value is the probability that this data set belongs to first species so in this case it is zero and this is the probability that it belongs to second and then third because the third one is the highest so 118th observation in the training data set will be classified as belonging to the third one let's use this for finding out how the model has done by creating confusion matrix and calculating misclassification error I'm going to use this predict. So we'll use the model to make predictions for the train data, training data set. And let's store predictions in P1. So remember these predictions are final classification in terms of first, second or third species. So if you run P1, we get those classifications. So now let's make a table with P1 versus train dollar sign species and let's store this in tab 1 so if you run tab 1 you'll get this confusion matrix here in fact we can also denote that p1 is predicted value and this one is actual so these are the actual species and these are predicted species so there were 42 data points that belong to first species actually and they are also predicted to be belonging to the first species based on the decision tree model. So this is a correct classification. We have 37 correct classification for the second species and 33 for the third. But there are also some misclassification. In fact uh, there are 5 of them that actually belong to 3 but they seem to be predicted to be belonging to second species. Similarly, there is one observation here that actually belong to second species but the model predicts that this should belong to third species. So we can calculate misclassification error by doing 1 plus 5 divided by 118 or we can do total of the diagonal elements divided by the total and do 1 minus. So let's do this. So 1 minus sum of T I A G diagonal of tab 1 and divide this by sum of tab 1. So misclassification is about 5% which also means accuracy level is about 95%. Let's do similar calculation for test data. So we'll use P2 instead of P1 now. So let's store the table in tab 2. So it will be 
table and then I'm going to again say predicted equals p2 now and actual is test species so when we print tab 2 we get this confusion matrix so actually in the test data set we see that there are no errors all the predictions are 100% accurate so this need not be case all the time it's just a coincidence that we have a situation where there are no errors in the test data so if you do the calculation now for misclassification error you should get zero so we get misclassification error of zero so this is how a decision tree model can be used for making predictions as mentioned earlier the best part is that it is very easy to interpret so you can visually see that what are the decision rules in this case when petal length is less than or equal to 1.9 straight away we can conclude that it belongs to first species to summarize we saw how to make a decision tree model with r and then we also did a visualization of that decision tree in situations where the dependent variable is categorical and also we saw an example in case it is uh, numeric then how the decision tree is going to look like we also did uh, predictions using the tree model and we calculated misclassification errors for both training data as well as testing data